Hey, what's up guys? Okay, very basic question I've been getting is how to do hand wraps for boxing. Now, seeing as I'm going to be doing the Everlast and Peak review, as soon as I get it, I'm going to do a full review of the app and the device. So I thought before that, let me do a review of how to wrap your hands. So that you can get used to an easy method to wrap your hands. And then once I do the review of the video, you can use your Peak unit, wrap your hands and have the device and have all the data you need to work on your weaknesses. Okay, so there are many different ways to wrap your hands. I just prefer this method because it's the simplest. It's not too technical for beginners. Um, it keeps your knuckles nice and protected because there's a lot of padding. And it also keeps your fist nice and tight. So it protects your whole hand and wrist. keeps everything solid when you're throwing a punch. You don't have that impact in, in your wrist and your knuckles. So the easiest way is to roll it up. If you don't have time, you don't have to. You can just leave it rolled out and then, then work it like that. But uh, I'm going to show you the easy way. Rolled up. And then you leave the loop side out. Now this obviously goes over your thumb. And I see a lot of guys make the mistake of wrapping this way. And then when they close their thumb, this loop starts sliding off and it unravels your, your hand wrap. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that you put it around your thumb and you wrap away from your thumb. So when you close your, your, your fist and your thumb, everything is solid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start like this and then go three times around the wrist just to keep everything secure two three from here we're going to go up to the knuckles I'm going to do three times around the knuckles as well we'll come back to the knuckles with more material after just to make it more padded three now instead of coming back you want to come down to the base of the thumb and here's where you want to open up your, your knuckles and you're going to start going in between so you're going to start between your pinky and ring finger, one, come back to the base of your thumb, in between the next two, last one in between the last two fingers. Now to secure this, because this is going to move, you want to go back up to the knuckles and go around the knuckles a few times. So I like going around once or twice, and just make sure it's nice and secure. Once you're there, make a fist feel how it feels. Everything's nice and secure. And then from here, you can just do like a crisscross pattern. Go one across. Once around the knuckles. Back down again. And then the last little piece of material you have. You want to bring that down back to your wrist so that when you hit the Velcro section, you can just secure everything off nicely. Secure it in place. Make sure the Velcro is nice. You don't want the Velcro touching your skin because that's going to irritate it. And there you go. Very simple hand wrap. And this is probably the easiest, most secure that you can have. Some guys like to, to wrap around the thumb. I preferably don't like to do that. I like to, to hold my thumb nice and secure by myself. And that is the simplest wrap. Okay, so I have the hand wraps on. As you can see, my wrists don't move too much. Nice and secure. Nice padding around the knuckles so you don't damage your hands. Don't get blisters. And that's probably the simplest method I find. That's not too technical. That you don't have to reverse directions and change directions. You're just going one way. So if you're a beginner and you just want a nice simple hand wrap, this is probably the one for you. Uh, turn on the subscribe, click the bell to turn on notifications because I'm going to be doing a review on the Everlast and Peak unit which, is, which has launched and it is a great unit if you're really into stats and if you're a pro fighter or you just like training, this unit gives you a great breakdown of how many punches you throw, it measures how many hooks, jabs, uppercuts, it does a whole breakdown for you. Not only that, it measures the g-forces of your punch so you can see how hard you're hitting with each hand you can also measure the reaction time so it shows you punch speed and a, a reaction time of how you bring your hand back so you can judge where your weaknesses are and you can improve on those weaknesses by by seeing real-time stats on the app so i'll be doing the review keep up to date with it by by subscribing and you'll see the review and i'll be doing more videos on injury prevention